And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two What's and a Wow! Two what's and a wow. Two what's and a wow. The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. <laughs> and the category for today is hair. Mindy, why don't you remind our audience on how the game works? You know it. Contestants, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about hair. But, and this is a big but only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? <laughs> and in each round, if you find the winning wow, congratulations, you get a point. But if you guess wrong, you must stop, drop, and do a hair raising physical challenge. Woo! Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Great, then let's get started. Okay, round one, question one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, bearded dragons can actually grow beards? Or is it B, cats have whiskers on the backs of their front legs? Or is it C, human hair is so strong it could hold more than 30,000 pounds without breaking. When you think you have the answer, tickle your toes. <laughs> Reggie, <laughs> cue the thinking music. <laughs> and time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. Joining us by phone, all the way from Canada, it's Sophia. Sophia from Canada, tell us, what's the winning wow? My wow in the world is that cats have whiskers on the back of their front legs. Winner, winner, whiskers for dinner! Thank you, Sophia. Contestants, if you guess the answer B, that cats have whiskers on the backs of their front legs, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. Those tiny whiskers on the backs of their forelegs can detect even the tiniest movements and help cats when they're on the hunt. I'll tell you what, contestants, I'll never forget the time when my cat Alice was looking for this mouse, and then Alice started chasing the mouse, and when I saw her on the- Guy Roz, no! We've been over this. No cat stories. But it's really quick. No, no cat stories. <laughs> Anywho, contestants, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and touch your nose to your toes. Okay then, now it's time for round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, baby dolphins are born with mustaches? Or is it B, mayonnaise is a scientifically proven way to get lice out of your hair? Or is it C, human hair is actually 75% oxygen? When you think you have the answer, wiggle your eyebrows. Uh, can we get some music to think to, please? And time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Autumn from Tennessee. Autumn, tell us, what's the wow? Did you know that baby dolphins are born with mustaches? Winner, winner, dolphin mustaches for dinner! Thank you, Autumn. 
Contestants, if you guessed the answer A, that baby dolphins have mustaches, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. When baby dolphins are born, they have just a few hairs that sit on their upper lip, kind of like a mustache. Now that I dolphinately like to see. Now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and assemble this complicated bookshelf that I lost the tiny wrench thingy for. But first, let's thank our sponsors. Today's episode is brought to you by Gnome Depot. Gnome Depot, where the G is silent, but the deals are loud and proud. <gasps> that means it's round three o'clock. Oh. Contestants, which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, lobsters have hair in their stomachs? Or is it B, the more nose hair you have, the better you can smell? Or is it C, bumblebees have hair on their eyes? When you think you have the answer, Put it inside your refrigerator. <laughs> Reggie, <laughs> cue the thinking music. <laughs> and time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. <laughs> Owen from Kansas has joined us by phone to share the answer. Owen, we can't wait. What's the wow? My wow in the world is that bumblebees have hair on their eyes. Winner, winner, hairy eyeballs for dinner! Thank you, Owen. Contestants, if you guessed the answer C, that bumblebees have hair on their eyes, you found the winning wow. Congratulations, wowzers! Bumblebees really do have hair on their eyes, and it actually helps them see. The hairs prevent pollen from sticking to their eyes while they're collecting pollen from flowers. <sighs> Wish I had some hair in my eyes. Then I would have some reason to keep getting shampoo stuck in them. Uh... Anywho, great job to all of our winning wowzers. And if you missed this one, you must stop, drop, and sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with a mouth full of crackers. <gasps> what was that? Oh, that sound can mean only one thing, Guy Raz. You're surprising me with tickets to the Snooze Cruise, the world's dullest cruise experience? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> that sound means it's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Huh, I was actually reading an interesting think piece about this the other day. The deeper question isn't how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Rather, it's if a woodchuck could chuck wood, then which wood would the woodchuck chuck? Uh, anyway, I'll save it for another day. Congratulations to all of our winning wowzers in the audience and all those playing from home. You know what time it is. Reggie, roll out that prize generator. Check it out, Guy Raz. Cut out some of your elbow patches to make the wheel look a little fancier. Mindy! Contestants, when I press this button, your super special prize for your participation in today's show will generate in three different parts. Audience, just remember to look to your left and to your right to find your nearest exit row. Why? I don't know. It's totally unrelated to the safety of this unpatented, unregulated piece of machinery. Okay, here goes nothing. All of our contestants today will be taking home their very own invisible flying suit. Oh, and if you're in the front row, you might want to put on the ponchos below your seat. Oop, that's too late. Sorry. <laughs> well, uh, that's just about all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little steam-themed challenge for you. We call it Operation Here We Go. 
Wowzer's hair helps warm lots of animals like dogs, bears, cats, even us humans. But even though hair can help warm us, sometimes it's not enough to keep us warm. We want you to find some new ways to keep warm. Which items around your house can help you conduct heat and stay warm? Maybe a cardboard box, a garbage bag, a paper towel. Find out which material works the best. Record your findings with a photo or video and report back to us. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. Oh, and be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World and again on Friday for a new episode of Two Whats in a Wow. Until then, keep on wowing.